there's a TV series that's been on for about 12 years that has 161 episodes. TV series usually just don't last that long. It's called The uh, Walking Dead. And it's about uh, these zombies that are called walkers and everybody, of course, is fleeing from them uh, just in case they uh, kind of get to them and they just kind of eat you, I guess. Well, don't worry, it's fictional. There's a more serious uh, situation in some of our prisons. It's about hardened criminals who are on their way to execution, and they're called dead man walking. But let me tell you something that's even more threatening and more serious and something we ought to really give some sober uh, consideration. In Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 1, the Bible speaks of those who were once dead in their trespasses. Now, biblically speaking, death means separation, and the alarming thing and the alienation is that these people are separated from God and in their sins. Serious, serious situation. Of course, the walking dead in this case are men that are alive, but their sins have separated them from God. There's a verse in Isaiah 59 uh, that speaks of our sins have separated us from God. Terrible thing, something really to worry about. Now, the Bible tells us, doesn't it? how we can be reconciled to God, and that is through the blood of Jesus by putting our faith in him, a faith that really works in life, that's operative, that obeys him. And of course, in the book of Ephesians, he's speaking to those who became believers, who had been baptized, and now they're alive. He has made you alive and no longer the walking dead. See you tomorrow. Some thoughts to think about, huh?